So, guys, you know, the week that has passed has probably be, been one of the toughest, most challenging uh, weeks for me. And uh, that is not because of uh, trading or, or anything to do with trading, but that's just because of uh, the chaos and mayhem that we have had in, uh, in Durban. So those of you who do not live in South Africa, Durban uh, is a town in, uh, in South Africa. It's under the province of Zulu and Town. So guys, obviously most of you, all of you know that utter chaos erupted um, in Durban and caused a lot of uh, a lot of a lot of destruction and uh, you know at that point i think it started last monday yes last monday when all of this happened you know it just created a lot of challenges psychologically um, to to function normally so normally as i would function i couldn't do that and i know many people around me uh, in the vicinity of KZN and Johannesburg and stuff also couldn't couldn't function properly you know and uh, the reason why is because you know we 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 were concerned about safety of ourselves concerned about safety for our loved ones and so on and uh, the only thing that kept me going through this week where I could still be able to trade and uh, have a good week, somewhat a good week and make the most of the week even though it was all of these things were happening around was the fact that I had a game plan, okay? Now, having a game plan means that when I started off the week and on Monday when I knew all of these things uh, were going on and I knew that it would affect my trading so I needed to adapt myself to it I decided that I needed to have a game plan and my game plan was obviously keep positive keep my confidence up and somewhat try my best to divide my trading from the personal issues that surrounded uh, me as a person here in Durban and uh, the reason why I'm here on this live uh, because this afternoon is because I want to share that with you. You know, going into this new week, many of us are faced with, will be faced with many different challenges. We may not know what tomorrow has in store for us. I myself don't know what tomorrow has in store for me. But when you get in to the new week, you need to start having or you need to start the week with a game plan. Okay, so this game plan means that when you get into the week, you need to have a proper structure uh, that you're going to follow. Okay, be it uh, the way you're going to conduct your life, the way you're going to conduct your business, the way you're going to conduct your work, the way you're going to conduct your trading. You need to have a game plan in order to achieve the optimum. And the only way I was able to, to, to conquer last week was, be, was because I was able to have a game plan, guys. So this, more, this evening, each one of us needs to have a game plan going into the new week. I've already planned out my game plan that I want to, that I'm going to carry out for the week. You know, I already know the psychological state and level I have to be at in order to kill the week. I already know that I need to be confident and have confidence in my life, in, in myself. Because no matter the type of trader you are, you could be the best trader and have the best strategy. If you don't have confidence in yourself, you'll never make it in this industry. In fact, if you don't have confidence at this moment in your life, you're going to fail miserably at a lot of things. So, I want to tell you this afternoon that starting off the week as we get into the new week as monday starts tomorrow we need to have a game plan so guys even as you start the new week get into a regime start having a game plan write it down write specifically what you're going to do 
Now I want to mention something that's very important because the fact of the matter is that nothing ever goes according to the plan. I actually uh, write out a game plan every week or every Sunday afternoon before I get into the new week. And last Sunday I wrote, I wrote out a game plan and how I was going to conduct the week and what I needed to do to kill the week. And it never went according to plan because then Monday came and all of this chaos hit me. So I had, I had to change my game plan to become flexible in order to be successful this week or the week that passed, sorry. So you going into the new week, remember something that even though you may have a plan, we all have plans, we all have goals, we have a certain way in which we want to achieve certain things. Many of us have certain, certain, certain rules or certain um, things that we need to do and we, we plan to do in the coming days in order to achieve certain things. But I want to tell you guys that sometimes it doesn't go according to plan. Nothing in life ever goes according to plan. So what you need to be, you have to become a flexible person. Okay, you need to become a flexible person where yes, you need to have a game plan, but also you need to be at the position where if something is not going according to plan, don't stick to the plan because sometimes the plan may not be working because of certain things that may change. So what you need to do, Dr. Martin, much love for you, bro. Love you, bro. Much love. Stay blessed. Stay safe. Thank you for the prayers. So guys, coming back to it, whatever the plan may be, you need to be sex you need to be flexible because sometimes if the plan is not working don't stick to a losing plan you see many of us we have a plan and there's my plan that i have right here so just imagine this is my plan so i say that okay today i'm going to do this tomorrow i'm going to do that the next day that the next day that the next day or day five i'm going to do this and suddenly i'm going to be successful but let's say on day one, you do a certain thing, but on day two, all of your, the atmosphere changes. Everything around you changes. So that means that you need to start changing what you originally planned. So guys, it comes back to this. You need to be flexible, flexible in everything that you do in life, especially in your trading. Sometimes you might have a trading plan, but it goes to Monday and Tuesday and it's not working. So what you have to do is that you need to now change your trading, your trading plan or become flexible with it in order for you to progress in the week or kill the week. A lot of times I've noticed that I've failed in certain things when I stuck to a losing plan. So the first thing tonight guys is that if something is not working for you change it if the plan is not working for you don't stick to the losing plan don't continue losing money stop going and moving in the wrong direction you need to realign yourself and get back on track so that you can kill what's in front of you so that you can kill those objectives so you can kill those goals that you have set out for you but coming back to it you have to have a game plan, but if the game plan is not working, you have to change it, you have to adjust it, you have to be flexible in order for it to work. You look at all of the greatest businessmen around us, all of the greatest uh, entrepreneurs around us. You need to understand that this did not come or happen overnight. You notice that a lot of a lot of businessmen and entrepreneurs had these sort of game plans and it never worked. So what they had to do is that they had to change the game plan for them to achieve a certain thing. You get me? So that means in our life as well, no matter what we achieve or set out to do, if we find that something is not working, we need to change it around. So last week I found that my psychological state wasn't where it had to be because of obviously certain things that were happening around us. So what I had to do is I had to change a few things in order for me to kill the week. And if I didn't change these few things last week, 
I would have actually lost or, or would have been in a, in a bad position by the end of the week. You get me? So for us, in order for us to kill the future days ahead of us and what lies in front of us, what we need to do is that number one, have a game plan, but also number two, we need to be flexible with that game plan. So that means that if something is not working, have immediate change. Make an immediate change so that the thing changes for you and whatever uh, your, your, your game plan is, it begins to change in order for you to have optimum results. You know guys, these are little things that can go a long way and can help you. These are little things that can, that can, that can help you in the biggest way. Because I know as a trader, as a businessman, when I am faced with a situation like I was with last week and many of us face the same situation, in order for me to, 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 to thrive and, and perform at my optimum, I had to change and become flexible in what I was doing. So my, so, my, so my mindset had to become flexible in order for me to kill the week. And my results wasn't, I could have had better results, but knowing the circumstances, I believe that it was quite good, you know? So guys, these are little things that you can do in your life. And whatever I mentioned is not only for trading, but it's, it's, it, it can be applied throughout your life. It can be applied in your business, at home, in your job, in your studies. You know, guys, it's, it's so sad that, that over the past uh, few days, so many people's businesses got destroyed. And, and all of the messages that are received in terms of businesses and jobs being lost. Guys, the harsh re reality is that things may get worse or it may get better. But we don't know. So what we have to do is we have to be flexible. We have to have a plan. And if that plan doesn't work, we have to be flexible in order to achieve optimum results. You know, and you know, it's time like uh, like I've formed uh, some, some sort, of, sort of team that, uh, that, that has become flexible in order to help others. You know, over the past, over the next few days, sorry, over the next uh, few weeks, uh, I just want to be helping people in terms of uh, in terms of the food shortage that we have here, here in Durban. You know, right now there's many people in Durban who have a shortage of food, bare necessities that we need to survive, bare essential food, uh, food, food ingredients that are needed. And I've devoted some time during the day every day trying to work with a few people just to try and 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 help communities all around all around so that so that we can achieve some sort of uh, of, of progress and help others you know this this is this is the sort of thing that that life boils down to guys you know coming into uh, the new week you know, my whole perception on things have actually changed. <coughs> it's actually changed so much because, you know, my whole life just, I just glanced at it right in front of me and I just began to understand that everything around us is actually so volatile. You know, everything that we know and everything that we have is actually so volatile. You know, so, 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 so that is why it's important once again to help others, to help each other. If you know, if you know somebody who is struggling and you have it in your means to help the person, help them. No matter what it may be, help them. No matter what, 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 what it may be, it may be the smallest thing. It may be the biggest thing, whatever it may be. It may be a, a loaf of bread or, 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 or a carton of milk. But whatever it is, if you have it in your means to help somebody who is in need at this time, 
I want you to go out there and help them, guys. It means nothing to just to just help somebody. Sometimes it may not even be that. Sometimes helping somebody may just be giving them and motivating them and just giving them a good, saying them a few good things. You know, this is this this is this is it. This is it. This is what it comes down. It just comes down to being a human being. And being a human being means that you must also have the ability to help people. Now, the way in which I've, I've decided to be helping people over the next few days and weeks is, is, by, is, by, is by just having and pulling resources together in order to help people in terms of food. And right now, in terms of Durban, there are so many people who have been affected by, by the crisis that we're facing that food is, is, is actually something in which we can play a big part in. And I'm just sharing my way in which I have decided to help people over the next few days and uh, over the next few weeks. You know, it's through food and, and that may not be what you have to do, but whatever you have the capability of doing, you know, sometimes as I'm coming back to it, sometimes your capability might be just, just being good to somebody, just showing somebody love. If you can just show somebody love, guys, that can be more help than anything else, you know? It doesn't, now it's not about how much of money you've got and what, what, what car you drive in and the area you live in. It comes down to basic necessities of being a human being. Can you please swim by UKZ and college for food? You, what you must do, um, just send through a DM um, because we are going to be uh, sending food parcels to different areas. Okay, so just send through a DM, excuse me, so, so we'll, we'll get somebody who can help you in that area and drop off food parcels for you. Guys, it, coming back to it, it's, it's small, it's small, these small things, you know, it's these small things that can help you and make a difference for others. It's just these small things that can make a world of difference for other people. You know, and and this is this is what I've set out to do over the next few days, the next few weeks. And I want to encourage you guys. I want to encourage you in the coming days, in the coming weeks. Empower somebody new. Help somebody new. Whether it's a loaf of bread, whether it's showing them love, whether it's just being good to somebody. Just help somebody because the blessing always returns back to you. And I've always seen this happen to me. Not that we are doing things for blessings, don't get me wrong. We don't do things to get blessed. We don't do things in life to get blessed. If you're doing that, then you're doing it for the wrong reason. But what I'm saying to you guys, a, 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 a thing that just comes by, by, by doing good, good deeds, is blessings. Blessings just come. It comes one way or another. If you're able to perform a good deed, you'll just see an outpouring of blessings coming upon your life, your business, your career, your trading career. You'll just see it happen just by being a good person. And again, guys, again, I want to say this to you, that, 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 that blessings don't have to be money. Sometimes blessings may just be good health maybe blessings may be a good family life maybe blessings may be surrounded by the right and correct people blessings may come in different ways but by just helping somebody you automatically engage and unlock supernatural blessings over your life and this is what i want to encourage you to do guys in this time of crisis i want you to just empower another person may be, who may be down and down and out if it's your in your capacity to help somebody who's in need please guys go out and do that 
do that i want to encourage you to do that because it will make the world of difference to somebody else something that you may think that is actually so minute and may not make a difference may be the world of difference to somebody else so i want to encourage you guys i want to empower you for the week ahead number 1 have a game plan number 2 Remember if that game plan does not work you need to be flexible enough to change it so that you can realign and kill and kill those aims kill those goals kill everything that you set out those obstacles in front of you and then guys lastly what i want to say and as i've said it just now is is dedicate yourself to helping another person in need whatever it may be as i said peter loaf of bread a carton of milk a um uh just showing love or gratitude to somebody whatever it may be i just want to say to you and i want to encourage you this evening just go out there and do it and guys coming back to it if there's anybody who who wants to help me along the drive that we plan to do in terms of helping the communities in Durban survive just by bare necessities just send through a message and just just get into contact and we we will together come join us and join the team so that we can inflict some sort of change and positivity so that we can help people have a meal for tomorrow so that we could help a family in need have something to eat you know that's that's what i encourage you to do and again guys do it in your own capacity if you know somebody in need go out there and do it if you know somebody who's down and out go out there and encourage them over the past few days all i've been doing is is just encouraging people there are so many people that i know who've lost so much in this time over the last two weeks sorry over the last uh, few days and and all of that i've just been encouraging the spirit and just lifting them up and encourage you guys even if you don't have anything to give somebody i just want you to know that you have the ability to empower people you know i just want you to empower people no matter which sphere of life you're in no matter your status no matter what you've got and what you don't have just empower somebody it 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 costs nothing guys just to send somebody a message and tell them i am standing with you i am praying for you i'm thinking about you everything is going to be okay just by doing these things it's going to make the world of change to another person so guys i'll see you soon i have to run now take it easy stay blessed stay safe much love much prayers go out to you and your family have a blessed week have a successful week let's kill it j money i'm out